for watching, and thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this theory. Go to nordvpn.com slash alexbale or use code alexbale. Huh. Well, alrighty then, that's the end of that theory. Just gonna end it here before there's any more dark plot twists. You guys have been insanely supportive with these SpongeBob theories, so I guess I have to make more. I've been your host, Alex Bale. Thanks for watching. Uh, hey, just want to let you know that I, uh, I think I'm going to take a break from the Spongebob videos for a little bit. Uh, it's not you. I mean, I mean, the videos are great. People, people love them. It's just, I think I want to go back to making actual films for a bit. Uh, okay then. Uh, thanks for everything. I guess I'll just, I'll just see you around. I just, you know, I don't, I don't want to really make these videos forever, you know? I don't want to be known as the, the Spongebob guy. <laughs> My boy, you really think they will care about your little films? I am your muse. I have given you the gift of knowledge. If you wish to go back to anonymity, then be my guest, but I know who you really are. That was probably nothing. There's no tension, the pacing is slow, it fundamentally fails as a film. Alex, go back to making Spongebob theory videos, no one wants to see your awful horror films. I've been your host, the one and only cynical critic, and remember to stay cynical. See you later.
<sighs> okay, that's uh, that's another one done. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Alex. We've got more on the way. I'll see you next time. Hey, listen, that, that theory was awesome. You know, I don't know how you keep coming up with these, but I mean, they're great. And, and listen, you were, you were totally right, you know? The people want Spongebob theories, so who am I to ignore them? So, thank you. Uh, hello? Got the... Got the meat for you. <sighs> Alright, listen. If we're gonna work on this, then we need to work on our communication skills, because this, this creepy quiet act, it's getting old. Why, why are you on my ceiling? My boy, you have done well. But if we are to continue our work, I will require something more. Hey, uh, what's the biggest animal that you have? Hey, I'm gonna assume you're still down here. Um, I thought about what you asked, and I'm sorry, I, I just can't. I mean, it's, it's one thing to, to buy you meat, but a living animal, like a cat, that's not a line that I'm willing to cross. And if that means you're not gonna give me SpongeBob theories anymore, then so be it. But. Honestly, man, 
good luck finding someone else that's going to be willing to be a part of whatever this weird relationship is between us. Come on, I know you can hear me. What did you do? <laughs> No, 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 but, but, I changed my mind, I, I didn't, I didn't give you the cat. You purchased the cat. You brought it to this home. I simply finished the job. No, no, th this is not what I wanted, okay? This is, this isn't worth it, we are fucking done. This is the last time that I want you out of this house. Sorry, what? You okay, dude? Uh, yeah, sorry, um, I've just got a lot on my mind lately. How's the, uh, Spongebob theorizing going? It's good, it's good, um, I'm actually thinking about maybe stopping. Why? They're huge! Yeah, I mean, people watch them, it's just... I didn't go to film school for three years just to make Spongebob theories forever. Yeah, but I mean, it's just something you're doing now. It doesn't mean you have to do them, like, forever. It's easy for you to say. I mean, what, you're a year out of film school and you're already directing commercials? Yeah, but I didn't go to film school to make commercials either. It's just something I'm doing for now. I like Spongebob theories. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, these, uh, these videos also just, they, they take a lot to make. I'm not sure if I'm up for it anymore. Dude, up for it? You just like watching cartoons all day, that sounds awesome. I would kill to have as many followers as you, man. I'd be set. I've been trying to get my film funded for months, and I still have nothing to show for it. You know, sounds like a pretty sweet gig you got there, but... if I have to, so you you better go. Hey, hey, Victoria, what are you uh, what are you what are you doing here? Um, I was just around, thought I'd stop by. Can I come in? Or... Uh, inside, inside. Uh, no, no, no. It's just it's not a good time right now. Um, in all honesty, it kind of seems like you're going through something. I just wanted to check in on you. Uh, I appreciate that. It's just, I'm fine. You know, uh, it's just the, the SpongeBob stuff is, 
I've been keeping me really busy and a little stressed about that. And um, but I'm I'm fine. You should you should probably go. You're being really weird. You're not answering your phone. You're living in total darkness. Can you just talk to me. What's going on? Okay, fine. Okay, we can talk. Just just not here. Fine. Do you want to get coffee or something? Sure. Fine. Yeah. Um. Uh. I gotta put something away. Just stay right here. Victoria! Do not give me the silent treatment right now! I swear to God, if you did something, I'll... Fuck. Oh my God! Victoria! Where were you? I was using your bathroom. Why the fuck are you pointing a knife at me? Shit, uh... Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, you, you cannot be here right now. No, I am not leaving until you tell me what's going on. Listen, listen, I promise I will explain everything to you later. You just... You cannot be in here. Why are you so afraid of me being in your house? Victoria, I promise you, this is not the time. We have to leave right now. Your muse isn't gonna eat me! What? You mean the big tentacle monster in my basement? Yeah. How do you know about that? I have one too. What? Big tentacle monster in my basement? Yeah. How do you know about that? I have one too. What? So, when you say you have a muse, you mean you also have a creepy monster thing in your basement giving you Spongebob theories? Well, no, it didn't give me Spongebob theories. It got me my commercial jobs. I didn't even know there was more than one. I have like a thousand questions right now. Like, what exactly are they? Where do they come from? What do they want? Oh, um, I probably don't know that much more than you. Mine just showed up in my house one day and eventually it left. Wait, yours left? As in you don't have a muse? No, I just kept giving mine meat, and got me a permanent job, and then it left. Listen, I know they seem really weird and creepy at first, but honestly, they're just here to help. But didn't you have to feed yours, like, more than just meat? No. What have you been feeding yours? Mine ate a cat. Hang on, you gave your muse a cat? I didn't feed it the cat, okay? It was in my home and then it, it took it, okay? It wasn't my fault. Okay, well, obviously you don't have a cat in your home when you have a muse. Listen, just keep giving it meat and eventually it'll leave you with enough Spongebob theories to last you for years. things and um, I'm willing to continue our relationship but things have to be very different this time no more eating living animals let's just stick to the store-bought meat okay oh okay uh, great glad we're on the same page you know, I'm, I'm sorry about all the shouting and the craziness. You know, I won't have anything against you personally. I think if we just communicated better, we could have, you know, avoided a lot of the issues that we were having. But I'm glad we finally have an understanding.
supporting us at Happy Meat Farms. Together, we're building a better future. Cut! Um, let's move on. Hey, Victoria. Uh, I tried to work things out with the muse, like you said, and then I'm pretty sure it, like, bit me or something, and now I'm, like, feeling really weird and craving raw meat. Uh, could you just call me back, please? I'm starting to freak out a little bit. Victoria, where have you been? I've been trying to call you all day. Hey, sorry, I'm at work. Okay, so like the muse like bit me, I think, and now I'm like craving raw meat and- Yeah, I know, I got your messages. Just calm down. This is a good thing. How is this a good thing? It means it's almost over. Okay, here's what I need you to do. Hey Alex, what's up? Hey Wes, uh, sorry for just barging in on you like this. Um, I was actually wondering maybe if you'd want to watch my new Spongebob theory, maybe give me some feedback. Dude, yeah, absolutely. I love those videos. Come on in, man. How's the uh, film thing going? Oh, you know, uh, funding's a nightmare. I'm sure you figured it out. Um, so just uh, give it a watch, tell me what you think. And uh, is it cool if I use your bathroom? Yeah, no problem. It's, it's just right through there, so. Cool. Uh, I guess enjoy. Alright, so this time, instead of ending with the big twist, I'm just gonna open with it. The one Dutchman is the ghost of Catchy the Pirate. This is a claim that these absolutely no one can Thank you again so much for watching, this was an especially tough one to figure out, but I think it all came together in the end. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. I've been your host, the Spongebob Guy, and I will see you next time. Hey Alex, I finished the theory. Pretty good stuff, man. You doing okay in there? Alex? 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 Oh. Hi, Wesley. What are you doing down here? Sorry. I must have got lost. Th that's okay. Uh, I, I finished the video. What'd you think? It was good. Hey, is, is everything okay? Is everything okay? Why would everything be okay? I mean, come on, dude. You're... You're acting weird. You know, you're right. I have been... feeling weird lately. Wesley, I have a confession to make. I didn't come here to show you a video. 
Why are you here? To help you. Hey, um, sorry about all of that, uh, I think I'm coming down with something. Sorry, right, man. Uh, I'll clean it up. Uh, but you should probably go, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go. Um, sorry again. Feeling. Like my stomach just got pumped. You'll feel better soon. I don't know how to feel about what I did. I get it, but you did the right thing. And soon you won't have to worry about your muse at all. I like the, uh, the haircut, by the way. Thanks. Yeah. Long hair just didn't really feel like me. Thanks again for, you you know, talking me through all this. Um, glad I don't have to deal with it on my own anymore. Yeah. I mean, I get how weird it all is. See you. You must have given someone else a muse, too, right? Did you give me my muse? You needed help. It worked, didn't it? Good night, Victoria. <laughs>